and welcome to our Tiny Desk Gift Guide series where we will be having a short chat with ideas and tips to help you choose gifts that artists and creatives on your list will love. So let's get started. Today is all about, this is a little bit of a departure because it's not so much about asking you questions um, as much as it is about us showing you the tiny lovely things that we have that go really nicely into long tubular socks. Yeah. 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 So. And it's going to be, there's a, quite a lot here. So to make this as short as we can, we're just going to show you and, and yeah. give you a little bit of why we think it's a nice idea. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give you some inspiration. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. What I'm going to start. start. I'll right. start. Okay. So if you have um, pen and ink uh, drawing enthusiasts, we've got a couple options here. Always nice to receive a little tiny bottle of drawing ink that you can use with a pen nib or a brush. Um, and if somebody does use uh, nibs, these are the Nico G Holbein um, nibs that uh, we love. Not Holbein. We get them through Holbein, but they're the Nico G nibs. Yeah. Really great um, quality, great uh, great nib for, for both calligraphy and for drawing. And a fun little thing here is uh, from John Neal, we have walnut ink crystals. So if you've ever worked with a natural ink, sometimes it starts to smell a bit funky after a while. And uh, this gives you the option to just mix what you need at a time. And that's a fun little thing to add to your kit. Yeah, everybody can use some ink. Uh, I'm going to highlight the uh, uh, mono eraser. It's an eraser in a in a pen form. It's a detail eraser, so the the tip of it is like the tip of a pencil, maybe a little bigger, uh, but not much. Uh, nice little addition detail eraser to everybody's toolkit. And leading from that, Faber Castell. The screen isn't great, but we'll add the links as well. Um, this is the Faber-Castell uh, sharpenable eraser. One end is for erasing ink and the other end is for erasing pencil. Um, speaking of Faber-Castell, this is the little pencil box we featured in the um, kids for kids and kids at heart. Um, but this is a nice addition to anybody. Every artist could use a nice set of new pencils in a full range from HB to 8B. Nice little tin. This is uh, also from Faber Castell, but just a nice little set of uh, fine liners, uh, black fine liners, and three different tips and a brush pen. Uh, just great for for drawing yeah. for any yeah. use. Yeah. For the artists that's maybe doing life drawing or sketching in their book, a little pack of Conte Paris uh, Conte. You know, um, you know, two two earth tones, a black and a white. Uh, for the oil painter in your life, uh, this is from Natural Pigments. This is from the Rublev um, Oil Colors line. Can I put it up to the, the camera? This is Oleo Gel. It is a great tool uh, uh, to put in your artist, your oil painter's toolkit. Yeah. It's a bodied linseed oil. It can be used for so many different things. And if you haven't heard about it, look it up. It's a really great thing. And they, if they haven't heard about it, they will love it. Yes. Um, this is a small little uh, eye drop holder, uh, eye dropper. Um, Great for watercolor artists as well as the ink artist. Um, yeah, it can be used for many things for putting out little drips of water to pre mixing your inks if you've got someone who's doing natural dyeing. That can be a handy little. Um, I wanted to show you from RNF, uh, RNF pigment sticks. So these are oil pigment sticks. Uh, Great for oil painters and for mixed media artists for drawing as well. They're highly pigmented, lovely, rich, creamy yes. sticks. And they come in these great little tubes, which um, just feels like a nice package and something yeah. surprising to receive in your stocking. Yeah. And I love this color. This is Cadmium Green Pale. Uh, pocket guide for mixing color, a uh, little fold out guide with. Uh, all the information you need for color and tone and, and mixing up your paints. So if you've got an artist who's maybe painting out, out of the tube, um, to inspire them to mix some of their colors, this uh, this is a good little reference. 
Another pocket set, something that we love, is our Nature Conversation Starters. And this is a beautiful collaboration, a project between um, Julia Applin and Kelly Aitken. And Kelly Aitken made the, the watercolor drawings and Julia made the suggested prompts. And it's a nice, it's a nice creative prompt. Um, uh, quite quiet yeah. meditation for being in nature. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, I used it on my hiking trip this summer and it was fantastic. So much fun. Uh, did we say pocket pack? This is your emergency origami pocket pack uh, here, which is uh, a great little thing for for origami artists, crafters, uh, collage artists. Did we say pocket pack? <laughs> <laughs> Here's another super cool tiny little thing, but from Beam Paints, uh, they've made this very tiny travel travel set of watercolors. So you've got six your six mixing colors, and you could pair that with a teeny tiny little brush um, for everything you need to get started on watercolor on the go, on the go. Artist quality paint. Another um, useful, very very useful uh, little thing for your for your art kit is a, is a kiss off stain remover so if you're anything like me and you get paint on your clothes uh, this will help remove that um, so it's a great little addition to your artist toolkit especially if you're uh, working outside great for artists and for anybody who yes. is messy yes I, uh, I keep them at home in the bathroom and in my purse <laughs> um, Okay, for your oil and acrylic painter in your life, I've got a couple things. You can always consider just dropping a tube of paint in yeah. the in in their stocking. And if you're unsure of a color, um, some safe bets uh, for acrylic painters is a tube of titanium white, artist grade of titan titanium white, will always get used. Yes. So that's a that's an easy one if you're unsure of their color palette. Um, for an oil painter, I've got here the Michael Harding Raw Umber, which is a great base color for, for a variety of things, yep. like landscape, portraiture, abstract, just a, uh, a good uh, color to have in your, in your toolkit. And then you want to use all of that nice paint that you have purchased, um, and so consider a tube bringer. This is, an, uh, this is our industrial strength tube bringer. We have three different ones in the store, um, but it's a tool that helps squeeze every last uh, yeah. iota of paint yeah. out of your paint tubes. Yeah. Talked about cleaner before. I'm going to keep on my cleaning thing. Brush cleaner. Um, uh, a really nice brush cleaner soap for oil, acrylic, um, and uh, you could use it for watercolor too. I mean, yeah. you, you don't need to, but to condition your brushes in a, in a nice way, this is a, a good little pack of soap that can go on the go, be on the go, or in your studio. With the exception of our suggestion of just yeah. using a, a bar of soap and water, yeah. this is the only brush cleaner that we carry. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to do Frisket. So if you have a watercolor artist in your life, um, water Frisket uh, or masking fluid is a nice little addition. Having a good quality masking fluid that they can apply might be a nice little. And this is from Schmenke and it comes in a nice little glass jar. This is from Legion Paper. It's a little mini paper set of all, of all uh, I don't know all, a very good number and I can't open it. A huge they're, range of uh, their, their papers. Their papers in tiny little mini pads. So you could uh, buy the box and then slip these in a few people's uh, stockings. Um, but yeah, it's got like the black watercolor and Yupo paper and uh, it's a great way for an artist to test out new papers. Um. We're gonna do rapid fire, so a few more bean products. We, we love bean. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple options. You might consider all very nice and small and could fit in a stocking or be a nice little handheld gift. Um, Beam has their birch palettes that we carry in a number of, uh, of varieties. This one that I have here is our limited edition um, articulations palette that has a gold and wintry night. So just two colors, yeah. nice, nice presentation. Uh, and special to articulation. So if you have an articulations enthusiast, this would be a nice little memento uh, celebrating our 10th anniversary. Yeah. We have a handful left. Um, Beam also has made these beautiful, these are hard to show, but they're um, ceramic 
turtles that they have made, handmade. They're little turtles with um, a paint pool. Um, so they've got we've got them in five different colors. This would be a nice little treasure to open up. Yeah, it's really hard to show. Uh, and there's a lot of paint in those turtles. A lot of paint, and just consider a paint stone. So these are all watercolor uh, paint stones that you could just choose a color and pop it in. A uh, little roll of paper, a uh, Sumi ink paper. Um, it's a nice format to work in a roll, uh, and uh, this is a great one to get started with. Just exploring that new long format um, could be used in a cranky. And you might have to go look that up. I'll just leave you with that. Um, from the Japanese paper place, we love our chiagami. We sell these in single sheets in the store. There are there are so many patterns we can't show you them all because we haven't even seen them all. Um, we get lots of them, but it's a lovely quality, lovely weight of paper um, for somebody who might like to do any bookmaking or mixed media work or even origami. Um, but you could pair that with a tube of Yamato starch, uh, which is a, a nice water soluble glue um, that's used for book binding, can be used for collage, can be used for um, making cards. Making cards, right. like just a useful tool to have and, and a nice material to work with. Yeah. Uh, I'll just highlight two, two of the sharpeners we have. This one here has a, a dial uh, and five settings so you can get five lengths of lead on that one uh, and this is just a small but lovely weighted um, brass two-hole sharpener and we have more sharpeners in store yeah but the pencil sharpener is always appreciated uh, Faber Castell has a lovely click and go uh, watercolor or, or water pot, foldable water pot, so it's like an accordion, um, similar to things you might have seen in a, in a kitchen supply shop, but it's about the size of a coaster and you can pop it in your bag, great for the person who does watercolor on the go. Yeah. Or the other option is a water brush. Um, this one here, basically in the handle, you uh, it, it detaches, you fill it up with water and reattach it to the, to the brush part of the, the fiber hair. <sighs> it unscrews, you put water in, and then you screw it back, and then you have water in your brush. Yeah, and you don't need to take a clickable cup. <laughs> I failed on that one. <laughs> but still a great product. You didn't yeah. fail. You got just, there. Yeah, it just blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, a Posca marker is a great addition to anybody's stocking. This is an acrylic paint marker, super opaque, comes in about five, we have five different thicknesses. Uh, great for an acrylic painter, mixed media, oil painter, collage artist, drawer, they have, they can be written, they can be used on many different many surfaces. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I've just picked white. Um, white is a really fun thing to use on dark paper and dark materials, but you could go with any of them and we have them in open stock in a wide range, range of yeah, colors. Yeah, in different um, shapes of shapes. Ships. Boy, I have no words today. <laughs> so I'll just show these, which are the little Chiagami booklets. Who could not use a little notebook? Um, with the lovely Chiagami covers. We have many different varieties, um, a good amount of paper in them, a nice quality paper, slips in your bag, uh, a little notebook by, by your desk there to write down those great ideas. Um, I love, from Karen Dash, they do a, a water-soluble graphite, and this is their GraphCube RGB line. Um, and so a nice thing about this, if you uh, ever encountered water soluble graphite. You can use this like this is graphite like you would find in a pencil um, but when you uh, add a brush water onto it it activates and it kind of works like a watercolor but what's really interesting with the Karandash version is that the they come in the tones of the graphite will be red, blue, and green depending on the stick that you choose. So it won't go bright red, blue, or green, but it has like a nice um, tone. tone to it. Yeah, and uh, it's it's really nice to use the graphite in a stick form rather than in a pencil form. Yeah. Different marks. Wrap this in a little piece of paper and pop it in. This would be a nice little uh, exploratory tool. Uh, and then we have the last, but not least, I'm looking around. A little trio of granular watercolors so they're uh, quite popular now these ones are from Schmenke very very good quality this one is the um, 
Trio Volcano. The Volcano color palette. palette. Mm -hmm. um, three five milliliter tubes. Um, so for your uh, uh, watercolor artist to try something new, to try the granular colors. And we have just scratched the surface, folks, of yeah. some of the items that you might consider for stocking stuffers or just small, lovely gifts. Um, yeah. This is hard to do in a short yeah, video. And many of them can be mailed. Did and we mention that? Oh, we didn't. But no, many yeah. of them can be mailed as well. So come on in. We can help you find something in any budget yeah. uh, to stuff stockings, send in the mail. Yeah. Little colleague work gift. Yeah. yeah. We, we hope these uh, these ideas have sparked some some ideas for you. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be popping in a few times a week between November fifteenth to December tenth. If you want the uh, to see other parts of this series, you can go to our Instagram or blog and find some links there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.